Hi, this is Lonya with another StarCraft 2 commentary, and this is another game from Boo's Ladder series. And we've got here is the Blue Terran in the top right, SKS Yen. And as the Red Zerg in the bottom left, we've got Boo, and the map is Steps of War. Two player map with a natural expansion just down here at the bottom of a ramp. And kind of can be quite difficult to hold, pretty short rush distance as well, so often you'll see quite early pressure from either player. And at the moment, both players are just going for some fairly standard openings, no kind of cheesy rushes or anything at the moment. And we'll have to see whether Boo decides to try and get an early expansion down here, maybe a 14 15 hatchery, or whether he goes pull first up in his main, get out some early lings, deal with any scouts, and make sure that he's got a few units. And Sky 7 just going for a standard supply depot at the top of his ramp just to block that off, stop any kind of rush either early on or a bit later on. And both of these players in Diamond League, Sky 7's got a few more points, he's on 1900 against Boo's current 1750 or so. So hopefully it'll be pretty good because they're fairly close. Still just kind of droning up, not got a pull down yet or anything. And on this map, Mutalisk can be pretty effective, especially if a Terran does expand, because you've got a big nice open area around here that you can just come in and snipe a few drones, and the same at the main, you can just fly around the back, come in and snipe some drones, unless you've got a lot of turrets up here. And with the distance between the main and the natural, if you do have a two-base Terran, it can be pretty difficult to get enough units to cover both of those bases against something like Mutalisk. And we've just got the barracks going up here, and Boo on 15 drones just going straight up for that hatchery not deciding to get a spawning pool first, still hasn't scattered the Terran so he doesn't really know what's going on but he is sending out a drone now so kind of a bit risky in some ways and it looks like we've got two barracks up for SKCN so he's probably going to try and put on some early pressure possibly with marines, it's going to be marines because there's no gas down basically it looks like he's going to go kind of full in marine pressure off these two barracks and this drone's going to come up see both the barracks, see there's no tech lab or anything and quite probably expect some early marine pressure so we'll have to see whether that manages to kind of come off just getting the orbital command now and with the short rush distance and the fact that we've got 15 hatch over here it might be quite effective because Boo's going to have to get up enough defence and the Terran hasn't managed to scout him yet so he doesn't know about that 15 hatch and he was basically doing this anyway kind of pretty risky build if you don't do enough damage the spawning pulls down and that should be able to let him pump out some lings in time have to see if Boo decides to get some kind of spine crawlers down here just to protect and whether we get a bunker up from the Terran so that these marines can just kind of bunker down in the bunker and put some pressure on this expansion hatchery and I'd expect to see the bunker going up fairly soon, it looks like we've got six lings coming out and a queen and we've got a couple of drones which look like they're going to try and take out this SUV, stop it putting down a bunker stop that kind of quite so easy early pressure and with ten lings now coming out so he's going to be well prepared for this, going to be able to put on a lot of defence against these early marines and it's kind of a fairly obvious thing when you see the two barracks even if you don't get in the base you can know that they're going to put on some early pressure and without the tech club there it's kind of obvious that he's going for basically marine pressure and we do have a spine crawler down so it should be fairly easy to hold this off especially when he's not really moving out at all and still doesn't have that gas and pulling off all his SUVs so this is pretty much quite close to wall in from the Terran if we look at the income it's got a few more SUVs but obviously they've all been pulled most of the advantage has been pulled so income's going to be slightly lower got quite a few lings out got more links down here, got the spine crawler up, we're going to have a queen out soon we've already got a queen up here and I think he should really pull that down to this wall just to help with the defence but he probably won't need it because he's probably got enough links and with the spine crawler it's going to be fairly easy to hold this off and no bunker going up so I think SKC ended a bit of trouble because he's put a lot into this so far and yes he's managed to hold down Boo's economy slightly by making him produce all these lings but at the end of the day he's not going to put on any real pressure and he's not going to be able to get any upgrades doesn't have a gas down so he's just coming coming around, skirting around here, trying to keep out the way of the spine crawler. Now all these lings coming in, he does have that queen popping, so it looks like he might be. Ooh! Takes down all the SUVs, but there's still a lot of marines left here, so he's going to need to pull back, and he really should bring his queen down from up the main, and he's producing more lings. I mean, he needs that there for some lava, so he can produce lots of lings, but it would also be really useful for defending, and it's going to have to be really tight to see if this hatchery goes down, but it's, and there are a few more marines coming back in to reinforce this force but they're not going to make it in time to really be particularly effective against these links here at the moment but he's not going to be able to take all these marines down and although maybe he's just about oh with these reinforcing links just about managed to take down all the marines here just has the queen left alive has the hatchery in reasonable health and it doesn't allow like this pressure is going to do too much sending out these links just to kind of hold off these reinforcing marines quite a few marines still being pumped out he's kind of committed to this still got those marines pumping not still producing some SUVs but still not got any gas down he's not going to be able to get any upgrades basically he's going to fall really far behind now and there's nothing else out for Boo, there's just got this bit of gas 
Ling speed's just started researching. So he's still got slow lings and if he isn't gonna have too much problem holding off these marines because they're just kind of dying to all these lings and he's just able to keep producing lings and with his economic advantage, 16 drones against 16 SUVs, kind of SKSNs pull back slightly with these drones, but he's gonna lose in terms of tech. We've got this static defense here with the spine crawler, which is almost undamaged. We've got these lings still coming out, a couple of queens and boost produce a few more drones, so he's kind of gonna be alright now. And when that ling speed kicks in, that's really gonna basically turn it. Especially when these marines there's nothing down in order to get stim research, there's nothing down in order to get the combat shield, and he's pulled even more SUVs off, so he's going to fall even further behind when he start dying, which is right now. So, when that link speed kicks in, that's going to basically end it, but it does look like the spine crawlers going down. But he's brought down the other queens, so we've got the two queens and all the links, just going to be able to easily hold off all these, and then he's going to be able to charge basically all the way across to the base and just take down everything once that link speed kicks in, assuming he produces a few more links. Although it does look like he's being kited pretty well with these slow links, and these queens might in fact die. But now he's got some more links out, so they should be able to deal with some of this pressure. Hopefully, and he's got 16 more links producing, so plenty of links are going to come and hold this off. And basically, fully committed here from SKSN, he put down a fourth barrack, and Boo knows that, and that's why he's keeping producing the links, not trying to sneak in any drones, because basically he doesn't have the choice to do that because he's just going to lose if all these marines do come in but it looks like now he is going to push out with those speed links so once that speed kicks in basically that was it and it looks like this guy's is going to try and put down a command center and go from the expansion but really it's too late for that although Boo's not able to put on any kind of pressure on this front door with the nice wall in and we finally got two gas going up for SKSN kind of trying to catch up a bit and if we check the income tab Boo's ahead by seven drones he's ahead on gas he's ahead on minerals and He's just getting down a roach one, so when that roach one goes up, he's just going to be able to produce a few roaches, bust down up front door, and it's going to be a good game. It's going to be pretty much over. Especially if he doesn't reinforce his single supply depot on the front. And it looks like he's going to try to take down an overlord, he manages to do that, but that's not going to make too much difference. And really, what SKCN needs to do is reinforce this front door, put down maybe some more supply depots around here, because while these barracks are going to be difficult to take down, this supply depot is going to be the easiest part to fall, and he's just not going to be able to block it off really all that well enough. And he is now getting down a couple of tech labs, so he's probably seen the roaches are going to be coming eventually. Hasn't seen the roach then, but he can kind of expect it. And he needs them anyway just for those upgrades, to get the stim upgrade, to get the combat shield upgrade, and so that he can push out a bit. And he's got five barracks down now, so he's just basically going all in off these five barracks. No reactor down or anything. Lots of lings. Now if you just check the production tab, I mean the units have 27 lings at the moment, 7 drone advantage still just the two queens and now he started producing roaches and getting the lair upgrade so basically when the lair pops and when these roaches get across that's basically going to be it especially with this expansion it's just going to leave him so exposed on this front door I mean defending up here on the wall that's pretty easy defending down here quite a big open area no kind of easy to make choke point that's basically going to be it and we've even got a ling here just kind of harassing that little bunker but with these roaches with these lings they're going to be able to take down the bunker take down all the marines just surround everything and looks like interestingly enough he's transferring some SUVs that's not really what you'd think to do straight away when you know there's some pressure down here because he did just send that SUV so he knows that there's these links here just kind of waiting down the bottom kind of nicely positioned marines just to try and get as many hits on down as possible but not quite good enough and it looks like yep this is going to be a good game just too many roaches, too many links, it's going to have to surround everything and absolutely dominate so basically a poor all in there from the Terran didn't manage to do enough damage with those only marines and then just lost because he just sacrificed too much economy and just stuck with that all in marine far far too long producing four barracks to produce just marines and sacrificing more and more SCVs and this is it Roach is just eating everything up just one marauder left all those SCVs that he transferred down all dead pretty pointless there he's still got his wall up he's just not got any units and even more Roach is coming to reinforce a few more drones being popped out Stim not quite even finished yet so just way behind for SKSN on everything and again he's sending some more SCVs down there which really isn't worth it when they're just so exposed and he's got to know that there's still this force just kind of nearby waiting to pounce and he's just got three marauders two marines against 14, 15 maybe more roaches and they're just going to eat them up and even more SCVs are going to go down he really should focus on these marauders but they're just kind of backing off not really much he can do at the moment and really SKCN should just GG at this point because this game's pretty much over and yep he doesn't even GG
game over. Really poor decision to keep it the pressure there, and a pretty easy win in the end there for Boo. So not the best of games, but an interesting 15 hatch on steps of war when you are susceptible to the early pressure, but not when it's just mass marine and not very effectively pulled off there, like we saw from SKS Yen.